On Saturday, former President Donald Trump was the target of an assassination attempt during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The incident occurred around 6.15 p.m. when shots were fired as Trump was speaking on stage. Trump was grazed in the ear by a bullet but was not seriously injured. Tragically, one person in the crowd was killed and two others were wounded. The shooter, identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was killed by Secret Service agents. Trump had just begun speaking when multiple gunshots rang out. Video footage shows Trump ducking and being rushed off stage by Secret Service agents as the crowd panicked. In a remarkable display of resilience, Trump quickly returned to the stage with blood visible on his face. He raised his fist and shouted, Fight and USA! to reassure the crowd before being escorted to safety. The shooter was positioned on the roof of a nearby building, estimated to be only about 150 meters from the stage. He was armed with an AR-15 style rifle. Witnesses reported seeing the shooter on the roof and shouting warnings moments before the shots were fired. The Secret Service responded within seconds, killing the shooter. Questions are being raised about how the shooter was able to access the roof with a weapon, given the security measures typically in place for a presidential candidate. There are also concerns about the apparent delay in Secret Service response, as the shooter was visible before opening fire. Trump released a statement thanking law enforcement and expressing condolences to the victim's families. He attributed his survival to God alone and vowed to remain defiant in the face of evil. The incident has sparked renewed debate about political rhetoric and violence in America. President Biden issued a statement calling the violence sick, but initially refrained from labeling it an assassination attempt. Other political figures, including Barack Obama, condemned the attack and called for civility. However, many conservatives have criticized Democratic leaders and media figures for their past rhetoric portraying Trump as an existential threat to democracy. The assassination attempt is likely to have major ramifications for the 2024 presidential race and American politics more broadly. It has reignited debates about security for candidates, political polarization, and the dangers of extreme rhetoric on all sides. The media's coverage of the incident has itself become a source of controversy. Some outlets were criticized for initially downplaying the severity of the attack in their headlines. Subsequently, much of the coverage pivoted to warnings about potential right-wing retaliation or criticism of Trump's own rhetoric, rather than focusing on the left-wing rhetoric that may have motivated the shooter. Many conservative commentators have accused mainstream media of hypocrisy, arguing that if a Democratic candidate had been targeted, the coverage and analysis would be markedly different. They contend that years of portraying Trump as an existential threat akin to Hitler created an environment where political violence became more likely. Little is known about the shooter at this time. Thomas Matthew Crooks was 20 years old and from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. He was registered as a Republican, but had previously made a small donation to a Democratic PAC. Crooks graduated high school in 2022 and had received an award for math and science achievement. Investigators are still working to determine his motive and whether he had any connections to extremist groups. The incident has raised serious questions about the Secret Service's handling of Trump's security. Critics have pointed out that many of the agents protecting Trump appeared to be smaller in stature than him and potentially not physically capable of shielding him effectively. Video of agents struggling to reholster weapons has also circulated, prompting concerns about training and readiness. Speaker Mike Johnson has announced a full congressional investigation into the security failures. There will likely be scrutiny of recent diversity and inclusion initiatives within the Secret Service, with some arguing that standards may have been lowered to meet demographic targets. The assassination attempt is likely to have a significant impact on the 2024 presidential race. Many analysts predict a rally around Trump effect with previously hesitant Republicans more openly embracing his candidacy. Indeed, Elon Musk endorsed Trump shortly after the incident. The attack has also reignited debates about political rhetoric and its potential to inspire violence. While only the shooter bears direct responsibility for his actions, 
Many are questioning whether years of portraying Trump as an existential threat to democracy created an environment where such an attack became more likely. Trump's campaign is likely to use the incident to portray him as a fighter who cannot be deterred. His quick return to the stage and defiant gestures are already being held up as evidence of his resilience. However, there may also be increased concerns about his safety at future campaign events. The media's handling of the story has itself become a major point of contention. Many outlets were criticized for initially downplaying the severity of the attack in their headlines, with some focusing on Trump falling rather than being shot at. Subsequently, much of the coverage pivoted to warnings about potential right-wing retaliation or criticism of Trump's own rhetoric. Conservative commentators have accused the mainstream media of hypocrisy, arguing that if a Democratic candidate had been targeted, the coverage would be markedly different. They contend that years of portraying Trump as an existential threat akin to Hitler created an environment where political violence became more likely, yet the media has been reluctant to examine this angle. 